What happens if you don't get surgery for scoliosis? Scoliosis is an unnatural sideways bending and twisting spinal curve. Scoliosis is a progressive condition. It's nature to worsen over time, and its progression is typically triggered by growth. Scoliosis surgery is a type of spinal fusion. Spinal fusion commonly involves removing the intervertebral disc sitting between each adjacent vertebra, and it fuses the spine together. And typically in scoliosis, they'll go to the most tilted vertebra on the top of the curvature to the most tilted vertebra in the, bo in the bottom of the curvature and fuse all the vertebra together. Sometimes this can be five, seven vertebra. Sometimes it can be 12, uh, 11 vertebra. So when we look at how many bones are being fused, it would depend on the size of the curvature, where the curve is located, and the, the extent of where the spinal fusion needs to happen. Now we know spinal fusion can straighten the unnatural curvature, meaning it can reduce the size of the scoliosis. And we know the severity of the scoliosis is determined by the Cobb angle. The higher the Cobb angle, the more severe the condition, typically meaning the more fusion that typically has to happen. Scoliosis spinal fusion or scoliosis surgery would reduce the size of the Cobb angle, but the goal of spinal fusion is not necessarily to reduce the curve, it's normally to stop the progression. So when successful, when they fuse the spine, it stops the scoliosis from worsening quickly during growth. However, the reality is that not all cases of scoliosis require scoliosis surgery. There are significant risks and side effects regarding spinal fusion surgery. Spinal fusion, we know, is a surgery that is costly, it's lengthy, and it's also very invasive. The procedure itself is associated with risks of infection, nerve damage, adverse reactions to hardware, and excessive blood loss. We also know that the effects of spinal fusion can lead to a loss of noticeable spinal flexibility and range of motion. The spine can also be weaker and more vulnerable to injury. There could be increased pain at the site of the fusion, and we also also know that it can restrict activity and quality overall quality of life because of the fusion that occurs in the sp in the spine. Spinal fusion also if it's unsuccessful for any reason such as hardware breaking, malfunction, curve worsening or increasing, the only recourse typically is more surgery. So a fused spine is normally a fused spine for life. There's no going back on this type of surgery. Now when we look at scoliosis, how can it be treated without surgery? We know scoliosis can be treated without surgery using conservative treatment approaches to reduce the size of scoliosis. And these results have become more significant over time. And the conservative approach to scoliosis has grown in leaps and bounds in these last 10 to 15 years. And the most patient, most doctors that are choosing to do this non-surgical conservative approach, I like to call it a chiropractic-centered treatment approach. And when we look at conservative treatment approach, it typically integrates multiple treatment models into one program. This is using chiropractic care, physical therapy, exercise therapy, corrective bracing, and also home rehabilitation. And this conservative approach is much less invasive, it's more natural, and it preserves the spinal function, which is what we're really looking at, it is a functional approach. And that's why I say it's a chiropractic-centered approach, because chiropractors tend to focus on function as opposed to fusing and limiting. Surgical approaches are more of a limited functional approach because they're reducing function of the spine by fusing it to make it straighter, where our conservative approach is trying to reduce the size of, of the curvature, but make it more functional, not less functional. And there are some significant benefits to non-surgical approaches. And like I said, it's a more natural, so there's it's more aligned with the spine's natural movement based to preserve spinal flexibility and function. We also know chiropractic care works on repositioning the most tilted vertebras into a straighter alignment, and there's benefits to re to reducing the size of the curvature to the nerve system and the spinal strength. We also know physical therapy works towards increasing strength and mobility of the spine. And the more strong and the more mobile the spine is, the more healthy the, the person's spine will function. We also know we can use home therapy and home exercises to strengthen muscles and deal with body um, and muscular imbalance and body position and posture. And we can also improve brain-body communication by doing neuromuscular rehabilitation and exercises. Corrective bracing can complement everything I just mentioned by providing a sustained force to help improve the shape of the torso and rib cage. And once we all these things are combined in a very specific manner, conservative treatment doesn't just focus on the spine like spinal fusion, but we look at improving the entire health 
of the person, meaning we're treating more than just the curvature, we're treating the spine, the tissues, the muscles, the balance, the function of the person, so they can live a long and healthy life. So when we look at what questions are relevant to treating scoliosis, we know that scoliosis doesn't always require surgery. And actually, the more likely you will not need surgery, the sooner you will treat it. So leaving curves progress to become more severe, where surgical intervention becomes more of a considerable recommendation. We know that there's never treatment guarantees, but the sooner you diagnose scoliosis and the sooner you treat scoliosis, there's fewer limits that can be achieved with non-surgical approaches. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.